What is going on guys? My name is Ron back again from One Reviews here with another episode of reaction to Bartender Glass of God. I am very late to this. Please excuse my attire. I basically was working out, exercise, had to basically wait for a couple things to happen, took a shower, and then popped a sleeping pill before I realized I had to knock this out. So before my sleeping pill hits, hopefully it doesn't hit in the middle of this, I'm going to go react to this. Uh, there's not much, really much I'm going to be going into. I've been enjoying this so far, um, as per usual. I've just been having a blast with how of a palate cleanser this is. This has been a perfect palate cleanser of a show and nothing but good things I can say about it. Um, I, can, I definitely know that this is definitely not a show everyone would like, and that's perfectly fine. But as for me, it hits the boxes that I want it to hit and it does it just fine. So without further ado, let's jump into episode 11 of Bartender Glass of God. Episode 11, Bar Kaze, a heart filled recipe. So in three, two, one, let's jam. We only got one more episode after this. It's kind of weird. I'm gonna have to make a video soon. Um, sorry. Um, I'm gonna have to make a video on what I'm expecting for next season, like what I'll be watching. Went from four, five shows to four, but yeah. Is he going to visit him at the bar? At this point, just start dating. The only problem I have with this show is the very first episode they showed him kind of be like kind of this clumsy guy. You've only seen him that in, in, during that first episode. Backstory. One thing that I'm also a little bit more surprised, they didn't show a lot more. They didn't show a lot of. Um, th there's more and more jazz I would have expected. I would definitely do it if you were significantly interested in it. solve people's issues. Maybe the real glass of God was the friends we met along the way. Does anyone know where that's from? The original, like, source of that meme? I feel like it could be used for a lot of JRPGs. <laughs> Can you just borrow? Ah. Excuse me. Sorry. I wanted to mute myself, but I didn't know when that was going to come.
Mm. Yes, but is he actually going to be mixing? One or two hundred cockpits. They're worried. Like, you know, it's got to have made a, an impact if they have remembered they drink. Is that an actual from a movie? Did that actually become from the movie that wasn't actual much of a popular drink beforehand? Interesting. Yeah, smear off. Ooh, on the interesting on the actual not just on the rim but on the um on the neck of the glass. Give me an old fashioned. I'm surprised of all the things I have not ordered an old fashioned. One of the the one of the epitomes of probably the most classic cocktail you could pick. That's another one. Unless they show up for the last episode. Beef it on Quantro. I've blue cap Smirnoff. Ooh, flaming shots? I, that's one thing I've never done. I, I'm, I would be scared because I, if I, if I were to shoot and if it's not a, and it, me knowing me, I'd be a little bit scared. I would shoot and then it would spill. And I've seen videos of what happens when that happens. You can't replace it. Hmm. 
That that looks like an old fashioned. I know what it is. It's an old fashioned. It's four roses. It's my favorite cocktail. The moment I saw four roses, it's four roses. It's one of the most commonly used uh, whiskeys for an old fashioned. That is a strong drink, too. I don't I don't like it with sugar cube, though. I like it with simple syrup. Uh, sugar cube can be a little bit too grainy if it doesn't mix well. If you don't use ice, like the old style of old fashions when ice wasn't really around when they first were making it, it was it actually made more sense. Because um, the sugar would dissolve into the whiskey uh, easier than if it was chilled. Now, I know you can blow out the flame, too. But I feel like that's part of, like, that's the symbolism to it. Just shooting it while it's on fire. And don't worry, your mouth would extinguish the flame. Just don't spill it. Twenty five years ago. Mm. Slight guilt. High end volume, uh, high end alcohol. I swear, is it Remy Martin? Or not Remy Martin? Louis XIII. That 
That might be that might be Louis the Thirteenth. Louis the Thirteenth is in a crystal. Remy Martin, Louis the Thirteenth. Oh, eh, I'm the same. Maybe first landing. I'm not. I'm not familiar with. There is, but. Or you can just look them up. Yeah. Yeah, but some of them are like 10 grand. My first bet was all was had to have been Remy Martin. More sparkly. More sparkly. Custom? Could be a decanter. I actually am drawn to blank. I'm trying to think. I'm actually like wrapping my mind. What if it's not like an even a, a big bottle, like an important bottle? What if it's crystal? It's a cool looking bottle, though. I'll try it. I'd try it. How much is it, though? An older traditional batch. Yes, whiskey does. I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm gonna have to look up that um the bottle. Yeah, but it was necessary.
Ooh. And credits. Is it going to say no? I'm not ready. I don't know what that drink is. Okay, we got it. We got the old-fashioned. Wish they would have talked a little bit more about it, but yeah. So they did the old-fashioned the traditional way, which is sugar cube, bitters, whiskey. Um, and then orange. Oh, and then a, it looks like a, Lux a Luxardo cherry. Um... Which is a very unique, a different style of cherry. Um, they last for a long, long time in their jar. Uh, I've had mine for well over two years, and it's still good. Uh, as long as you just set it properly and make sure there's no moisture that gets in, you're, you're kind of good. Although I haven't used them in probably half a year, so I should probably get new ones if I ever decide to make them old-fashioned again with cherry. Uh, but it's not needed. Um, you usually use Angostura bitters for an old-fashioned. I like to add orange bitters because I think it adds a little bit more of the orange flavor, which you can't go wrong with, especially in old fashioned. Um, now, in terms of the style and the type of whiskey, you have the pickings. Four Four Roses, Roses is a very popular brand. Um, old Forester is one. Um, I've seen uh, one of my favorites. Um, I it's like Kentucky Black, I believe, the type, uh, type of whiskey. But you can you can play with a lot of different whiskeys. Although Usually bourbon, whiskey, or straight whiskey preferred. You don't really want to use a mix or a blend of whiskey. You could, but why? You just want to use a straight one. But yeah, um, good episode. I want to talk more, but my, my sleeping pills are really starting to kick in, as you can probably tell. That's why I wasn't as reacting. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below, as always. And I will see you guys on Saturday for Kaiju number 8. And until then, I will see you guys next time. See ya.